So let, let me turn to another inter-party warfare, which is the Democratic Party. There was a Netroots Nation convention, a gathering of liberal activists in Phoenix, and there was a moment where one of the Democratic presidential candidates, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, was shouted down when he said, all lives matter, and a question about Black Lives Matter. Take a look. Every life matters, and that is why this issue is so important. Black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. I read a column on a liberal blog saying that he was using the language of white supremacy. Can you explain why people would be mad, mad at somebody saying all lives matter? Well, first of all, I don't approve of um, and I don't condone shouting down anyone because I do believe that uh, when these speakers, these presidential candidates come, they want to be heard and clearly I like the back and forth. That being said, there's a real cry out there, a cry from a generation that wants to be heard, that feel crushed by the street violence that they are experiencing and the unjust police tactics that they are also experiencing. So they want to be heard and they don't want to be grouped together um, with All Lives Matter. They want they want candidates to understand their pain, their frustration. They've attended too many funerals, and they're not going to allow candidates to come in and pander without addressing these issues. One in particular is the woman who was killed. Well, I don't know the circumstances, so apologize she for that. Found, she found she dead. Found dead. Uh, uh, Miss Bland, who was really one of the heroes behind the Black Lives Matter. So there's a lot of frustration, and I would advise candidates, Democrats and Republicans, to figure out what's going on. Because yeah. if they decide to go on a stage and not address these issues, they will shout them figure down. Figure out what's going on. A good, uh, good, <laughs> good words to live by Peter, <laughs> Donna, Congressman, Dana. Thank you so much. After the break, join me at my giant wall of cartoons for this week's State of the Cartoonian.